as I hit record on this show, the uh, verdict in the Trump, um, uh, I don't know, business fraud Stormy Daniels case is currently being read in a lower Manhattan courtroom. Uh, I guess our eyes will be peeled for how that all plays out. The last, uh, the last dispatch from BBC that I got is Trump no longer laughing with his lawyer. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> um, I, I guess, I guess, let's just start there, uh, boys. From a practicing lawyer perspective, have you been following uh, the the Trump trial? What have you made of, made of it so far? And do we have any predictions in the last seconds before one can actually <laughs> render such a thing? <laughs> Uh, I've been breathlessly following this with Ian Milheiser. Actually, uh, we do a weekly <laughs> podcast. That's my slime. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't been following this too closely. Um, I think you know, obviously, the fate of the republic and democracy and all that is at stake. But really, kind of at the end of the day, this is about a, a shady businessman doing shady businessman dealings because he fucked a porn star, and you know. It's not necessarily going to be the kind of deep policy thing that that interests me, I guess, from day to day. I guess I'm just wondering, like, what the practical ramifications are. I mean, like, you know, if, if he's acquitted, I mean, like, that's 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 obvious. He'll just, you know, go on continuing to, you know, live, la- live, laugh, love. But if he is convicted on one or all of these charges, like what? Like, uh, what does that imply? Like, is he facing jail time? Can he still run for president? Like, well, there'll be, I'm sure there'll be a lengthy appeals process. Um, Like, what what are the ramifications of a guilty verdict on one or any of these charges? Yeah, I mean, the ramifications are mostly for the press right now. The first thing that'll happen is you'll get an appeal instantly. uh, And that appeal, there's no way it would be resolved before the election. But as for like as for like the actual sentencing possibilities and stuff like that, I I have no idea. Uh, it, it potentially carries jail time, but I would imagine most people who get charged with this violation get a fine, some kind of slap on the wrist. You know, it would be very unlikely that he went to jail for this. He's charged with with causing false entries in a you know New York entity. This is not. Um, he's not charged with the more salacious type facts that everybody talks about when you reference the case. Yeah, exactly. he's not he's not charged with having sex. Right. He's not, exactly. He's not yeah. charged with fucking Stormy <laughs> Daniels. And even though everybody talks about election interference, I don't think that's a charge in the case at all. No, it's it, it's it, it kind of goes in around it in that, like, you can get uh, an enhanced process, I think, if um, if the falsification of the document was in furtherance of a separate crime. That's what a lot of the trial has been hinging on. But, it, you know, even then, it's not directly bringing in any of the, the Democratic, you know, threats to democracy that, that Trump supposedly is. This is all about business records and, and only that, really, this particular trial. Well, you know, uh, we'll be we'll be checking updates to see what happens with that <laughs> to get to get back into the, the realm of the law. Well, I do have to update that as of oh. now, Trump found guilty all 34 counts of felony falsifying business records. So. Wow. He is now convicted. Felon. Destroyed. He actually has to go to Azkaban, which is really weird. <laughs> Damn, but oh, real? So, <laughs> we have a quote from Mr. Trump here. I'm going to jack off so much in this MF. <laughs> <laughs> that is Donald Trump commenting on his truth social. He's, he's going to try and appeal and hold off so that him and P. Diddy get in there at the same time. <laughs> 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 to be honest, I well, really, I, I really was not following the trial at all. Um, no, I wasn't I, either. <laughs> I, 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 heard <laughs> <laughs> I heard the one news report. I heard the one news report about the media diet, and then you see the guy who yeah. gets his news from Truth Social, and I was like, "Oh, this is fucking done." But uh, apparently, that was completely wrong. Yeah, he, he uh, got yeah. convinced. There must have been some real Aaron Sorkin ass speeches in there to convince the Truth Social guy. Who uh, I did also see that he seemed to have been doing like some snarking and like laughing along when the defense was screwing up and all that. But uh, yeah. he seems to have taken his job seriously and he defended American democracy with all his might. Until I it also killed. I also thought I also thought and I got I got to eat this one. I also thought that the that the DOJ had been holding off on this. The facts on this have been clear for a long time, for like years. So I was like, where the fuck was this case? You guys clearly want to spring it in the election year. And if that blows up in your face and you get a hung jury in the summer, then you blew your chance. But I got that wrong too, because it turns out that, uh, I guess it worked. I guess maybe the feds had their monetary damages rule and they're just real sticklers about it. They're just like, no, nah, this case is under a certain amount, not taking it no matter what. I mean, like, I, I, it's, it's been very clear that the, because, uh, you know, like if you watch like cable news, like they're, they're fucking camped out here like it's the Kennedy assassination or something. And it's been very clear that like Democrats are certainly like 
have been, I mean, like, well, Joe Biden hasn't even been like campaigning or even saying why anyone should vote for him for president. Right. Um, and I think, I think they've been like intent, they've, they've been intending to just have this trial do all the work for them. And like the entire country has been watching it uh, like as rapturously as people, you know, as MSNBC or CNN is covering it. And I just don't think, I like, the thing is like, if Trump were a normal president, this would be a huge story. But like right. everybody already knows that he's like a complete crook and whoremonger. So like I, this can't, this is not going to change anyone's perception of Donald Trump. I guess I'm just interested whether it'll change his like now as a convicted felon, even un, at, with an appeals process ongoing. Uh, can you still run for president? Can you still be president if you're a convicted I mean, felon? I think this is sort of uncharted territory. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Like <laughs> One thing's for sure, you're going to hear nothing but this. This is going to be victory yeah. laps for six fucking months on this. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And and I think they're going to push it as much as they can. They're going to want to say that Trump should probably go to prison for this. For um, sure. Yeah, I mean, like, expect to see a lot of people get very mad when he gets sentenced in a in the way that rich people are normally sentenced in this country, which is, say, barely at all. I don't know, no. a shit ton of felonies. He, may, he might be in trouble. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's getting sent to a Gladiator Academy, like Wompo <laughs> or San Quentin. It would be funny if it, like, instead of going to, like, a regular federal prison, like the kind that Sam Bankman Freed would go to, they sent him to, like, county. <laughs> you know, yeah. amazing. And he, win, and he wins. He has to be president from county. That would be awesome. <laughs> he's, he has to, like, direct the Indonesian war from, like, a Samsung phone. <laughs> <laughs> he has to host state dinners and they just make, like, ramen burritos. With, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> Him and Rishi Sunak are eating that in the cafeteria. His cabinet is just all guys who are in and out of county. It's like Lil Reese. I was going to say, Lil Pump is his man on the outside probably at that point. It's funny to think about like Secret Service details. Like, do they have to get like detailed to fucking jail? Like, <laughs> they, they got to get sexed, sexed, in, 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 prison, sexed yeah. in to become a Secret <laughs> Service agent. <laughs> I'm thinking about a Secret Service agent like solemnly drinking a thing of Mad Dog and crashing his car into a police station so he could get sent to county. <laughs> <laughs> this is my duty. They have to get all the fake bags of, uh, of all the fake cigarettes and whatnot also as part of their job. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Pentagon has to like fly in like Reaper drones to drop K2 into the yard <laughs> for Trump to sell. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess tonight uh, Trump will be spending uh, uh, spending some time in the sixth borough. That's right, Rikers Island, as he awaits sentencing. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh, Mueller, she wrote, who didn't have anything, any even the slightest thing to do with this, but I'm sure is celebrating very hard right now. Well, uh, whatever, what, I mean, and, uh, and, uh, Andy, Andy, in the uh, in the the sort of like the the juror, like I don't know. Uh, sort of entrail reading they were like uh, going down the media diets of these jurors and one of them said that they did, that they had listened to the mother she wrote podcast but i mean that did it uh, that's what knocked yeah. it out yep i mean and that's also why this uh that's also why this verdict will be overturned on appeal <laughs> is that one of the jurors <laughs> was listening to mother she wrote but uh i mean like and then i guess the other thing is that, like I, I guess when this happened i mean well, look i i that, that's what i get for doubting the federal prosecutors i was like well this is probably the weakest case they have against donald trump i, I thought so i yeah, turned it, all 39 counts conv convicted on <laughs> all 39 counts i guess federal prosecutors really do know what they're doing well, one of the things that happened in the trial was like uh at least what both sides seem to think that it came down to was like Michael Cohen's credibility. He's the key. He's the key witness. He's the one that knows what happens and what ha what happened and, you know, is making the allegations of Donald Trump's knowledge in 2016. But the defense had a good point that like this guy's sort of a proven liar. But maybe what the jury looks at is like, does a guy who's convicted of this crime and who, you know, was setting up a shell corporation to make these payments, is he going to lie about this? Like, well, he wasn't doing it for free. He wasn't doing it out yeah. of the goodness of his heart. <laughs> uh, I, I did like, um, uh, this is from, uh, sorry, this is from the Washington Post, highlights of closing arguments in Trump's New York trial. It says here, Todd Blanche, Trump's defense lawyer, spent much of his closing arguments filleting Michael Cohen, Trump's former fixer and the prosecution's key witness. Blanche told jurors Cohen lied to each of you during the trial, calling him biased and motivated to tell you a story that is not true. He also invoked the acronym GOAT, which is often used in sports <laughs> context to describe someone as the greatest of all time. During his closing remarks, Blanche dubbed Cohen the GLOAT saying he's literally <laughs> the greatest liar of all time. That like it reminds me of like in in at towards the end of Goodfellas when all the all, all the guys are on trial because of Henry's testimony 
And the skeezy lawyer, he looks at uh, Paul Servino and it's like, don't worry, I got this. Like, you're going to be out of here. And he just like he dashes up to the witness stand and he's like, aren't you a fucking rat? <laughs> <laughs> and that seems to be like that was Trump's. That was his defense team's like entire strategy. <laughs> Didn't you fucking snitch? And the thing is, Michael Cohen is a snitch and a liar. But the yeah. thing is, like, this doesn't help Trump or his defense because right. he worked for Donald Trump for years. Right. So right. If he's yeah. the greatest liar of all time. And why, why was Trump having one on the payroll for as long as he did? Why was he? He's the greatest liar of all time on your behalf. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that actually <laughs> makes you really credible when you say I did this, that and the other thing on this date with this amount of money for <laughs> Donald Trump. That's probably the one thing you can tell the truth about really, really well. Yeah. And the reason he was lying, Andy, is you're right. Like the reason he was lying is because Donald Trump was paying him to. And the reason right. uh, it, it's likely that he's not lying now is that he made a deal with the federal government to avoid jail time. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if you lie under that circumstances, it's a little bit different than lying for Donald Trump. I guess my and other he, favorite. He's, he's clearly not a good enough lawyer to bamboozle the government. All the time. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, that's very obvious. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the things that's inherent about him, clearly. Uh, I mean, I, I, another, another details of Michael Cohen that I really liked that came out in this trial is that, like, uh, the money that he was given for the payoff, he was like he he got he he asked for like uh, like more money because he would have to pay taxes on the money that Trump gave him to cover this up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is like I, I love that idea. It's like pay me for the job, but then pay me extra because I'm going to have to pay taxes on the money that you're giving me. Yeah, I do that at work too. To yeah. employers, <laughs> employers hate this loophole where you can get infinite money. <laughs> you just keep needing more and more money to pay the extra taxes. Uh, well, I, I guess like the, the 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 other thing to consider here is like back back when this you know this trial started, I was just like, gee, like what's going to happen if he's acquitted or like the trial doesn't go well? But then the other thing is that like he's also facing numerous other trials that are just mm -hmm. haven't even started yet. Yeah. For for things like election interference, which at the time I thought like the Georgia case was a much stronger one because he's literally like on recorded on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like evidence just saying, hey, could you uh, steal this election in Georgia for yeah, me? Yeah, do me a favor real quick. Yeah, but <laughs> find precisely the number of ballots I need to win right now. In Georgia, he has uh, King Vaughn's lawyer, though. So that oh, one, God. I'm like more confident about his chances. <laughs> he like uh, he he has like offset like the the number one lawyer for rappers, Drew Feindling. I don't know. This seems to be like the first competent lawyer he's ever hired. So maybe maybe he gets off here, right? I mean, it's on Rico, right? Like he hired him for a reason. So yeah, this is this is somewhat well trod ground. And the prosecutor there, Fonnie Wells, I know had their own issues, right, with uh, paying her her husband or boyfriend. That thing was a fucking disaster. Yeah, like, I, I, there's there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in that case. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming that that's delayed to well after the is is that I actually haven't followed, but I it seemed like that case was going to get delayed for a significant period of time. Yeah. Well, I guess, I mean, like, but because, you know, like, if he wins re election, right? Like, presumably these trials are going to be ongoing, but, like, couldn't he just, like, pardon himself? Couldn't he just be, like, yeah, I'm, well, give well, himself well, a pardon, presidential pardon? You can pardon federal crimes, but I don't okay. know if he can pardon himself. I don't, I'm not sure anybody's going to go for that. Even his hand picked Supreme Court, I don't think, I don't think people are going to let that s slide. What will probably happen, although they will say it's not happening, is that you'll have, you know, new U.S. attorneys all get put in by the new administration, and then you will have some of the cases, you know, decide to get dropped or some things get narrowed. Maybe there will be some talk about independent prosecutors, but for state charges, uh, he has no power over them. Well, direct power over them. He can obviously exert force through, you know, Republican operatives in the Georgia government or something. Yeah, I mean, I think if he wins election, it's, <laughs> it is going to be really uncharted territory. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>